Turkeys are typically captured between January and March. Drop nets are placed near known roost sites and setup begins by locating a relatively flat and open area. Setup generally takes around 30 minutes to an hour depending on the number of people and their experience. After spreading out the net, a post, two chains, and two anchors are placed at each of the four corners of the net. Using clips, a quick release mechanism attaches the net to the corner post. Two anchors are then driven into the ground and posts are chained to the anchors. The posts themselves are not in the ground but remain upright from balancing the tension of the chains on one side and the net on the other. Electric wire is run from each quick release mechanism to the power box. Remember the center pole will also have a quick release attached to it as well. Once all four corner posts and the center post are erected, then the net can be hoisted into place with the winches. The net is raised high enough to allow turkeys to comfortably walk under, but low enough to facilitate capture. The center of the net is baited typically with milo and cracked corn to draw turkeys in. A pre-baiting period may often be required to pattern turkeys and get them comfortable with going under the net. We use a game camera to monitor the trap over time and use the photos to determine when turkeys are typically visiting the trap. Once the trap is set, we conceal ourselves in a blind and wait for the turkeys to arrive. Steven, Alec, do you guys hear me? A GPS backpack style transmitter is attached to the turkey using shock cord. We have found the GPS transmitters to be much more accurate than their VHF counterparts. Each unit acquires approximately 2,500 locations over a 65 day period. Over the course of several years, with the help of several hardworking graduate students, we have collected a great deal of location and movement data from both hens and gobblers. With the use of this data, we've obtained information on annual survival, habitat use, movements, nesting ecology, and the impacts of predators on turkey nests, among other topics. Much of this information has been published in scientific journals as well as in extension publications. Our goal is for this information to be utilized by landowners and land managers to improve Rio Grande wild turkey habitat and populations throughout their range in Texas and beyond.